I don't know what to tell you, sis. I don't know what to tell you, bro. Guys, I'm a student. I, I'm not doing admission. You do not want to be stranded. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Gloria Hawkins. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please do not forget to click subscribe button before you leave. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how you can get your student residence permit or your student Kim Leak card in Turkey as a student. I'm not talking as a tourist or work permit. I'm talking as a student. So if you would like to know how to get that, stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay. There are different steps to take as a student when you arrive in Turkey. So I don't know how you apply for the visa. The visa application process might be different in different in other countries. But when you arrived in Turkey, this is how you can apply for a residence permit. You cannot apply for a residence permit when you've not arrived in Turkey. Okay. So when you arrive in Turkey and you've gone to your accommodation and then you have free time. First off, you need to know the length or the amount of days you were given to stay in Turkey on your visa. You need to know that. Keep that in mind. If it's 15 days, that means you have two weeks, minimum two weeks to apply for your residence permit. If it's 30 days, that means you have one month. But I would not advise you to wait until the one month is over or else you have to exit the country and come back again which is stressful because you have to apply for visa all over again first step to applying for a student residence visa is filling the application form online so there's a visa application form i'm going to put the link in the description box or i'm going to put the website here where you can get the form from so the visa application form basically you fill up the form and there are some things they need like your passport number your age your name you know your credentials your parents name first name last name and all that stuff mother's name father's name i think so but there's a visa there's a form you have to fill and also have a picture there when you fill that form what you're going to need next is your international passport and your international your international passport has to be valid for more than 60 days after the duration of your stay let's say for example you get a 30 day visa your passport should have like two months validity i don't know if that makes sense two month validity on your passport or else they wouldn't give you the residence permit you have to renew your passport the next thing i'm going to talk about which is the third part is if you're someone who has been in turkey you would need to submit your old residence permit picture like a photocopy of your old residence permit or you need to submit your visa page basically the page on your passport where they stamped your visa like where you were stamped in you also need a photocopy of that because that just tells them when you arrived into the country and it shows you're legal the first thing you're going to need for your visa application is a passport photograph like the you know the normal square passport photograph those small ones yes you're going to need about six or eight or four I can't really remember how many you need but you need that i think it's the bio biometric pictures i'm not very sure but it's like the biometric pictures i'm pretty sure if you go to any passports picture taking place just tell them you need it for your kim league and they know which one to take you for your application the fifth document you need for your visa application is your student letter for old students it's your student letter but for new students admission letter or acceptance letter the acceptance letter basically tells the government or the officials that issue the visa that you're a student and you've been accepted by this institution to come and study in turkey so that just helps them know that okay you're a legal student or you're actually a student in the country another thing you would need as a new student is a bank statement especially for undergraduates if you're an undergraduate and you're not of age like you're not above 18 or so to have a bank account i think they would need to see your sponsor's bank statement that's like the person who's going to be sponsoring you in turkey or your parents they need to see their bank statement or something and also the bank statement or if it's your bank statement it has to have about three thousand pounds for a duration of six months i think so basically a particular amount of money is supposed to be in your account 
for a duration of six months for the student i guess i'm not very sure i don't know how true that is because i didn't come in here for undergraduates i came in here for masters okay and finally usually this is for any resident permit they also need your accommodation details they need to know where you're staying in case they need to find you and also when they're sending your um id card your kimlik card they need to have an address for your accommodation so you need to have an accommodation and be able to write your accommodation into the application as well that's the last thing i know that is a required document for you to have if you're applying for a student visa so these are side bonus points i'm going to share with you guys if you're applying from school for me when i apply for my permit i apply from my school if you're applying from school you need to print out two documents that state you're the one applying for the Kim League and some other one I don't really know what it says I forgot to translate it but it's mandatory for you to have these two documents you can download it from your student portal if you're renewing your visa but if you're not I'm pretty sure the school will help you and teach you what to do if you're coming in as a student make sure your school offers like the I don't know what word to use to be able to help you submit your residence permit and also residence permits takes approximately 90 days so when you apply for your residence permit if it has surpassed 90 days i would suggest you call them because you don't want to be living in this country illegally okay so if it, if it has not surpassed 90 days it will probably come out within a month or two those are the things i would say if your school do not accept you to submit your residence permit through them i don't know how to explain it due to the covid especially now with the covid situation when you apply they direct you to an office where you're supposed to submit your residence permit then they would send you a text message that you should um submit your residence permit to this office or post it most of the time like of recent i recently realized they started doing the posting one so you don't have to go to the office yourself to apply for the residence permit you can just send it through the post office that's if your school does not agree to or does not give the option of them submitting it for you if you need to find accommodation you can check on sahibiden there are some student um, accommodation i don't really know any i know a few people who say they are staying in the student accommodation you can find an apartment to stay in with friends or with people or yeah that's pretty much it and also what else what other question do i feel you guys might have i i hope i answered everything and also some of you guys that message me telling me you need someone to take you around i'm really I'm, I'm i'm honestly always busy i don't even have time for myself so i cannot take you around there are so many people that ask me if i can do admission for them guys i'm a student i i'm not doing admission i really wish you guys would stop asking me for admission because i don't give out admission i'm not a school agent i'm also here studying i don't know anything about admission in my school i only go to school and go back home when i used to go to school like when i used to go for classes that's it but if you this video was basically for people who are already in turkey and want to apply for who are coming to turkey they need to know that they're supposed to apply for their residence permits way before their visa expires because if your visa expires before you make the application i don't know how you'll be able to go through or escape that but you might have to leave the country and apply for a new visa and come into the country then apply for a residence permit that's how it works if you have applied for the residence permit even if they've not given you a date to submit and your visa finishes or your visa date surpasses it surpasses your visa date as long as you have applied for your kimli there is no problem make sure to submit your documents even if you apply and you don't submit your documents and your date passes i don't know what to tell you sis i don't know what to tell you bro but you're gonna be all right don't put yourself in that situation okay do not put yourself in that situation you don't want to be stranded you do not want to be stranded okay <laughs> so let me know what other videos you guys would want to see from me as a new student coming to turkey or what other turkey related videos you would like to see from me okay thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>